everyone i hope you are all doing well and i wish you a very very happy new year so after a long time we are connecting after a long time i'm seeing you all so you all know that there is a lack of time because of which i cannot upload videos properly but as this is new year and this is 2023 so i will really try my level best that i should upload more videos i should give more updates what i am doing how my plans are doing right so this you can consider like a small life update video that what is going on right now so uh, i give one more video uh, you can say in 2021 right that when i shifted here in kerala and i told you that uh, uh, i shifted to a new place so still i am in kerala itself okay now it has been uh, almost one and a half year this uh, state this city kochi is not uh, as new as it was right uh, i'm a teacher here so i have uh, started working in a well known uh, offline institute i have some so many students there and uh, i just know them since you can say 5 months or 4 months but the love and the support and the respect they Uh, they hold uh, for me and for all others it is like i never imagined that uh, the teaching online students will feel like this so that is why i just wanted to give an update and wanted to share something with you this month was my birthday and a uh, uh, few of my students they came up and they gave me a small gift which is not so small for me that is this plant this is a succulent plant and uh, when i received this i was like uh i can't explain that feeling that this plant gave me so for me this is very very special and that is why i wanted to make a video to keep this as a memory and to share with you all okay so uh here in kerala i did not try it growing succulent till now but the weather is like that that succulent can do very well in kerala so by this small uh, uh, uh you can say gift i can uh, try it So this havarta is a very uh, you can say beautiful plant some some people also can see white marks here so sometimes it is called zebra plant but in this plant specifically it is not white as i can say it is having some uh, uh, lines uh, you can say some leaf is having uh, this leaf is having some bulges in terms of lines but it is not white in color but then also this is very beautiful I, and a uh, good thing about this plant is that is this plant if uh, like my life i can't give invest much of the time so now my plants are also like this that they also should uh, uh, you can say by a small care they should grow so, so most of my plants are like that now and this also is uh, one such kind of plant so in this plant you should never water it once you see that all the soil which is present here is dried right like this you can see in my finger no soil particle is coming right it is not sticky enough it means the water is very less right so from the day i received i didn't water it even once so now is the time that i have to add a little amount of water maybe you can say a half cup less than that right and then i have to provide this plant at least 3 hours of sunlight every day in direct sunlight not direct sunlight and then it will do good okay we can't keep the plant completely uh, without sunlight or you can say completely indoors until and unless you have winters or uh, that type of conditions if you are present where humidity is there where dryness uh, is uh, 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 not there and uh, you can say where sunlight is very good winters are not running that time that condition is very good and this condition is very well seen here in kerala so i have to give this at least 3 uh, 4 hours of indirect sunlight and uh, some amount of water you can say maybe a week in a week or in, within a 10 days because the pot is very small and it can have chances of uh, holding water there is no drainage hole also so after some time when it get, it will get accustomed or acclimatized to my conditions where i'm living and uh, in a new uh, place where it has come after that i will try to repot this because right now if i will do that plants uh, survival chances will be very low because uh, as we move to new place we also cannot get accustomed right like that plants will also do so yes this was that little 
plant which I wanted to share that is why I made a video so this is very very close to me I will really take care of this and I would like to thank every one of them who gave who think about this that they should give this as a gift to me so thank you very much my students and after that one more gift I received which is uh, you can say uh, see uh, these things they are they seem maybe very small right but uh, they are not so small because uh, if uh, anyone is thinking like this for you that means that they really adore you and uh, you can sense everything that uh, I can't explain right now right the emotions are very heavy so one girl is there who came to me and who told me that she has uh, so many uh, flowers and when she found this flower she thought of giving the seeds to me so after a long time I can grow some plant using seeds so here in this uh, you can say here you, you can see here she gave a uh, seeds pack like this okay and uh, what I will do I have uh, this is one what you can say the food storage box which we can easily see and take from the uh, you can say the parcels which come which they deliver to us and in this I have added some cocoa peat and some mud uh, mixture because if we have to grow seeds it's better that we use a small uh, container so that we can understand that whether the seed is growing or not and in the small pot it is very easy to understand that whether the seed which we have sown has been grown or not if we will put a big pot then we have to you can say uh, more nourishment and everything is required more water is required then there is a chances of that seed can get decayed if you will over water so whenever you are growing a seed you try to grow in a very small vessel in very small pot okay anything you can take earthen cups are there you can take these small food packaging boxes you can even take uh, you can say coconut shells and all okay so you can fill it with the cocoa peat and mud whatever you have as a preference you can add your uh, soil also and you can add your small seeds now these seeds are very tiny so that's why i have to be very careful i will show you the update that uh, whether they are growing or not and uh, on my back side you can see one plant right this plant you can see here it is monstera plant and this plant i received last year on my birthday so now with me it has been for one year one big year it has been here and you can see that it is growing very well right it was this much of height only three four leaves were there and the conditions here in Kerala for growing these type of plants are very very good right so I didn't do anything for this plant I just keep on watering it whenever the water uh, I feel that it is less sometimes because of the busy schedule I cannot even check it but then also you can see that it is growing very well right whenever I get time I will uh, put some cinnamon water spray also what I do is usually I boil the cinnamon and two cloves uh, of garlic with it and I will let it boil and when uh, it is uh, on the no normal temp temperature I will fill it in the bottle uh, spray bottle and I will spray the plant with that so what happens that here in Kerala there is a big problem that so many insects and spiders they will attack the leaves I will show you some of my plants which are outside I will give you one update also that within the span of one and a half year how many plants I have added so now there is a lot of plants which I can show you previously I didn't have any plants to show them what I would uh, do right so now uh, I will show you that some plants are there but the problem is that uh, they will get attacked by the spiders and the insects most often so for that we need to add certain uh, you can say insecticides and all but I don't prefer to uh, add any chemicals to the plant right so for that we can make some uh, uh, jugad you can say or we can use these uh, natural things to do that cinnamon water is there we can use that and then we have uh, you can use what you can use the neem seed okay you can uh, boil the neem seeds and you can uh, spray that water or if not that then uh, your neem oil also you can uh, uh, use uh, lemon water you can use okay lemon grass you can put nearby your plants if it is having a lot of problems of insects okay so this was all about the video I will give you update that how these plants are growing in some next videos once I will figure out that uh, 
uh, whether the seeds are germinating or not and how, what is the condition of my herbs yeah. okay so this was a kind of update video interactive video where i wanted to talk to you that what is going in the life right now what is uh, going in the you can say what uh, type of plants now i'm having right i will show you some clips also you can see that different different plants now i have added in my garden or what i can say in my small space where i can grow plants okay so thank you everyone for listening to the video and uh, do not forget to like share and comment below thank you very much bye see you in the next video